what if you could collect data with minimal, minimal time? I want to save you that time. Your time is precious as a teacher. And finding ways to streamline your data collection with just a few clicks and a few taps can really help you get there. So we're going to talk today all about digital data collection, but also progress monitoring digital data collection. So we want to bring it all together for special education teachers because it is so important for us to have all of this information at our fingertips. And it really does matter because parents are going to question you throughout your time. And being able to say like, hey, I have it right here. I can just print it off for you or I can send it in an email makes it so much easier. So if you're not already using some digital Google Forms or some digital information for tracking, now is the time to do that. Um, and I can help you do that. I have a free guide that I can give you um, to help you set up your Google Forms. Or if you really want to, I can give you a step-by-step -step walkthrough with a 15-minute training video um, to really just make sure that you don't have all those loose papers every everywhere in your class. Um, it really does help too with collaboration. So you can have your paraprofessionals join in and taking data um, and it automates that organization for you. All that information is in one spot versus, like I said, those post-it notes, those pieces of paper hanging around your room. They are always there. Um, so if you aren't using some type of progress monitoring system right now, whether it's a Brigance, a VB map, an Ables, or an AFL, something along those lines, you need to get yourself a progress monitoring tool that you can do. Um, I do have a printed one right here, but this does also come digital, um, where you are tracking student information very quickly. Um, so it's a checklist of alphabet letters. It is colors. It is shapes. Um, it is sight words, either receptive or expressive. Um, but you are able to do this information very quickly. So whether you have it on a piece of paper or whether you have it digitally, um, a progress monitoring tool like this life skills assessment is super, super helpful. Um, and if you need a, an assessment, I can get that for you too. Um, so make sure you are doing that. We are at the time in the school year where you need to be tracking student progress and their growth over time. Um, and if you have a tool that you're already using, it can be faster. Um, I know lots of classrooms and lots of teachers don't have these tools already, but they are available to you. Um, it helps with graphs, it helps with data, it helps with visualizing the data, um, and you can really see these things as they are growing. So I really hope that you will take a moment to at least look at Google Forms or look at the assessment that I've just shown and really be able to um, set up your data collection systems so that you can be efficient when taking data because it is so important. It's part of our legalities to be able to do that. So I know this was very brief and not a whole lot of information in this video, but I would say make sure you are checking out Google Forms, um, some type of baseline assessment or progress monitoring assessment because now is the time that we want to see student growth between now and the end of the year. So if you want more information about digital data collection or progress monitoring, make sure to like and subscribe because I will be sharing more information about these things. Um, but it is so helpful to do that and you need to be able to do that. So we'll talk soon.